Hey guys, RTT back here for the video, guys. Today we have a really interesting update. So, you guys have not been following my content recently. I've been talking about a lot about Gus 33000. This guy actually put Windows 11 on the Lumia 950, and now he is trying to do the same exact thing, but with the Surface Duo 1. He did release recently that that was his overall goal, so his intentions was to get it to run fully on the Surface Duo 1. And obviously, this device right here, with all the issues it's had, from going from Acromedia to going to Android 10 and then finally getting Android 11 this month. I mean, sorry, last month at this point. Uh, it has been an absolute, you know, just back and forth dog show at this point when it came to actually getting this correctly on this device. But with that being said, though, this guy right here has not stopped trying to get this to work. He talked about in many posts how he's gotten it to do certain things, but not other things. But he did say the Android 11 update was something he was waiting for. And according to him, the Windows 11 update or Android 11 update actually helped him out immensely. Because he posted on the 29th, they said that is now detected as a Windows uh, Connect uh, USB uh, EAM network adapter. So you guys can see right here. It is now showing up that is a network adapter, which is absolutely a huge update, but there was even more updates than just that. So he was able to actually go ahead and run the kernel on this and actually run the whole, you know, um, OS software of Windows 11. If we go forward, you guys can see this man is actually getting it to load. Now, keep in mind one key thing here, because I know how you're going to see this and think, oh my God, he, he got it to run. He got it to run. Not exactly. So whenever you're running an OS software, there's different layers of an OS software. So the main layer, obviously, is the display. The display of displaying the logo, displaying the actual features, stuff like that. That's all separate layers. So he's able to run the bare minimum of popping up a Windows logo, um, you know, starting up the startup system. But keep in mind that you could literally start up a system right now and fail. Like, let's say, for example, you guys have PCs out there. You guys already know. You could have a PC that say it's broken, right? You turn it on, it loads up Windows 11, and bam, it fails. It crashes instantly. Now, I'm not sure if that's happened to him yet, but that is very possible that he's just running the base, you know, booting screen. He's running the booting logo and the bo booting screen, but might not be actually running Windows 11. Because right here, he does go ahead and pop up this, which, of course, is the Windows 11 startup screen. And at this moment in time, it just shows on one panel. So I'm not sure if that second panel is actually second screen is actually working or if that's just, again, trickly because of the fact that um, he started up on one screen. But this is the Windows 11 startup screen. Now, I will say you got to keep this in mind, right? Is if he does get it able to run fully and he doesn't say in this post that he's fully able to get it to run. But if he does get able to run fully, let's say... And it says right here, we'll go to bed. It's a bit late. We'll resume tomorrow. So he's going to resume today. But even if he is able to get it to run fully, let's say hypothetically speaking, he's able to fully run Windows 11. Keep in mind, it's not going to be optimized for Windows 11. Now, I'm sorry, not optimized for Surface Duo 1 because the Lumina 950 was a smaller device. It was a smaller type build device. So the whole entire screen was filled up with Windows 11. While this device right here, because it's that dual screen action, it's a little bit more difficult to optimize it for a two screen action. Now, don't get me wrong. I know 100,000% this guy is going to do everything in his power to optimize this for the Windows 11. But keep in mind that you're probably going to see, you know, it it's going to look ugly. I'll be honest, it's going to look very, very ugly. And I think the goal is not to make it look gorgeous. The goal is it to have it operating in functionality and functionable on the Surface 201. So again, like I said, keep in mind, if you when you're looking at we do more and more updates as time goes on, that it's going to look ugly. It's not going to look gorgeous. It's going to look absolutely just like, is there even a point to run that? And again, like I said, it's just moving forward. This is showing that, you know, we saw for the longest time, right? We thought Windows 11 could never run on this device. And after we learned more about Acromedia, we learned more about the fact that Surface 201 was going to actually have a Windows OS-based software. It's a really, really cool feat and really cool idea. And I can't wait to see what more updates we get because based on what I understand, the next technical... So I, I think he can, if he has this up, I believe he can at least boot into Windows. And again, like I said, if he does go ahead and boot into it, 
is it going to be stable or is it going to be glitchy and crash? Because again, there's a there's a many different layers. This is just layer like probably five at this point. Like he's past all the initial layers. Another thing is, will this actually accept USB devices? Will it accept actually the software uh, hardware? Now we do know. Um, going back here, he did actually say that right here, as you guys can see, 34% use uh 64 gigabytes. He did say also looks like my storage got reduced. So him doing this and going ahead and actually, you know, getting Windows 11 reduced his storage. So it, it's a whole mixed bag. Now I'm not sure if that's because the operating system costs so much store, um, you know, gigabyte um memory to go ahead and run or have one in his system. But again, like I said, there's so many questions, so many updates we're gonna be getting in the future. But guys, definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And I can't wait to guys keep you guys updated on this because. Again, like I said before, you know, I never thought in my wildest dream we'd ever see Windows 11 running on a Surface Duo 1. I And again, he is also picking up Surface Duo 2. Keep that in mind. It's not just Duo 1 he's trying to get this for. He's trying to get this for the Duo 1 and Duo 2. And I think the Duo 2 is going to be a lot better. But again, he is, you know, going to take the same resources for the Duo 1 once he figures out how to do this. And then transition that over to the Duo 2. So... This is a, you know, a step in the right direction. It's also a step in the process of really, truly making this a amazing, crazy phone. And I wonder how Android 12L is actually going to change this up a little bit, add a little bit more functionality. Because he did say that, you know, he, once he couldn't get it to run, right, at all. Android 11 update comes out. He's able to get it to run. He's able to truly master it with Android 11 update. I think Android 12L will probably just increase that. Uh, adds a little bit more depth to the software, a little more depth to being able to do that. Now, good thing is, you guys have not been involved much, and you might not remember this, but when Samsung came out with their Z Fold 3, the first thing people realized was if you hacked the device, you instantly got your cameras taken away. So they actually, I don't know if they fun put a functionality in there or if it was just a glitch, but if you actually hacked the um Z Fold 3, you rooted it, you actually lost your access to your cameras. They actually did a thing where they this would not work anymore until you unrooted your device and you used it normally again. So I wonder if there's going to be anything like that once he gets truly into this OS software. If there's going to be anything wrong with it where he just doesn't have access to his cameras or he has access to this or that or third. That's going to be interesting. But with that being said, I'm going to keep you guys updated. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. We are now currently, I think, at 1,300 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough for all the love and support you guys have been giving me over the last year and a half. I mean, I we went from, what, zero to 1,300 in about a year and a half. And I can't thank you guys enough. You guys mean the absolute world to me. Uh, remember, we are going to be unboxing the Surface Duo 2's out-of-box out case later today. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. That's going to be an absolute crazy video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.